Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can watch the latest movies and TV shows on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, really any device that has a browser. So essentially, we're talking about free streaming sites. So today, I'll be showing you my top five websites for that. But before I start, let me just give a quick shout out to these five people as they were the first ones to leave a special comment in my last video. Make sure you watch this video to the end to find out you can get a shout out in my next video. So with all of that being said, let's get started. So I'm doing my demonstration on the second generation Fire Stick with Alexa, but as previously mentioned, as long as your device supports a browser, you can access all this great content. So if you are doing this from an iPhone or an iPad, just use a Safari browser. If you're doing this from an Android TV box, use Chrome or Firefox. If you're doing this on your computer, I would recommend Chrome. But as always, I do recommend using an ad blocker when using this content. So on your computer, you can use an ad blocker like Adblock Plus, on Android devices use an ad blocker like Blockada, but basically make sure you are blocking ads because these websites do tend to have quite a lot of pop-ups. Okay, so the first website I wanna show you is a website called Yes Movies. So we can see it's a very nice, simple layout. So on the homepage, you can basically search for a movie or a series name. At the top here, you can basically browse for movies. This will basically then show you some of the current popular movies that this site's got. One of the things I do like about this site is when you do hover over a movie, so we can quickly see what the IMDb rating is, how long the film is, and a small snippet about what the film is about. Also, it shows you what quality this film is going to be, and so this should be a HD quality stream there. Let me just quickly search for something just to show you that the search is also working fine. So, okay, so let's just click on this one here. Okay, let's click on the play button. Once you see the small screens behind the play button, that means that the file or the content has been found. We just need to click on play. So let's do that now. And in case I didn't mention it, guys, in this demonstration, I'm using the Silk browser on my Fire Stick. Okay, let's click on play. Now, if you see any pop-up like this, this basically means the, the site is trying to redirect you to another site. So you always want to click on stay here. Let's click on play again. Once again, if any pop-up like this, just click on stay here. Now let's give that a second. And that starts playing pretty much straight away. And we can see on the bottom right that it's a 720p stream, guys. So, so yeah, guys, it may take a few extra clicks, but essentially we are now streaming HD quality video onto our devices with no Kodi, no APK, no installation. It just works fine. So I think that is pretty impressive. Okay, so that was the first website, which is Yes Movies. And just a quick tip, guys, on the Silk browser, once you have actually typed in your web address, to add that as a favorite, so you don't have to keep typing in again, if you just press the options key on your remote, then at the very top where you've got the star button, if you click on that, this will basically add this as a bookmark. And as we can see here, I've already added the Yes Movies as a bookmark. So that's basically how you add bookmarks into Silk Browser, just for easy access. Next up, we have a website called HD Online. So this has been around for some time. And what's happened is they keep constantly changing their domain names. I don't know if they're getting caught or something's happening, but previously they were on hdonline.2. Then it was like hdonline.s. This current address that they're currently sitting on is hdo. .to. So on the very top, you've got sections for uh, movies, TV series, and news. And let's just try the TV series for a second. Now again, guys, anytime you get a pop-up like this, always click on stay here. Okay, so this shows you some of the popular TV series that are playing right now. Now you also have a great filter, guys. So let's say, for example, we go into that. Again, click on stay here. And just say I'm only looking for action. Um, I'm only looking for movies and I only want HD. So basically I'm saying I'm looking for HD action movies. So let's click on that and then click on apply. So this should now come back with all the movies in that particular genre, which are in HD quality. And we can see it's done exactly that. So let's just try one of these just to show you that content is also working really well. Let's just try this one here. Click on play. And let's click on the play button. Okay, click on stay here. And again, we are now streaming a 720p film in our browser with no add-ons, with no Kodi, with no APKs. That's working absolutely fine. Let me just show you that the search is also working on this website. Let's go up to the search. Okay, let's search for that. Okay, so let's just try the first one. So obviously this is still in the theater, so I'm not expecting HD copy, but let's just see if this works. Let's click on that. And we can see it says they're cam, so we know what quality to expect. Let's click on play. Okay, let's click on the play button. Click on stay here and that starts playing pretty much straight away. Okay, let's just forward that a bit. That's working fine. Okay, let's back out of that. So that's hdo.to. Next up, we have a website called hulu123.net. This has a very simple layout. So at the very top, you get to see some of the current movies in the cinema. If you scroll further down, you get to see some of the recently updated TV shows. So, and again, you can basically browse through this content. So if I want to see, so I want to see more of the films, if I just go over here, click on this arrow, I can then see other films that are also playing in the cinema. And let's say, for example, we want to watch one of these. So let's just try um, this one here. Let's click on that. Let's click on play. Let's click on stay here. 
give that a second and that starts playing pretty much straight away let's just forward that a bit and that's working absolutely fine okay let's back out of that let me just show you that the search is also working well so let's go up to the search and this time let's search for a tv series okay let's search for that okay let's try this one here let's click on play and that starts playing pretty much straight away okay, let's just forward that a bit That's working absolutely fine. So guys, we can see, yes, it does take a couple extra clicks, but once your content starts, it starts playing fine. We're not getting any buffering. It just works fine. Okay, let's back out of that. So that was Hulu123.net. Next up, we have a website called Flenix. So this probably has the nicest layout out of all the websites I've seen so far. So on the homepage, you get to see some of the trending content at the moment. So you can see there's lots and lots of good stuff here. Um, at the top here, you can also select cartoon or animated section. Let's click on that. Click on stay here. This also has a big library for cartoons as well. Okay, let's just try one of these. Let's just try um, this one. Click on stay here. Click on play. Stay here again. This website also allows you to download the content as well, so which I believe is going to be with torrents. So if you are okay with that, you can also click on download movie. But I do recommend using a VPN if you are going to be doing torrents. But for now, let's just click on watch now. And let's click on play. Okay, that starts playing pretty much straight away. Let's just forward that a bit. That's working absolutely fine. Okay, let's back out of that. Let me just show you that the search is also working on this website. Let's go to search. So as you click on the letters, it doesn't actually show you here, but if you look on the back of the screen, you can see they are being typed there. So I've just typed in Batman. Let's click on next. Okay, so it's found nine results for that. Okay, let's just try, uh, let's just try Batman Begins. Let's click on play. Okay, that starts playing. Let's forward that a bit. That's working absolutely fine. Okay, let's back out of that. Start with Flenix. Okay, so last up we have a website called flickstore.to. So this has a good simple layout. So on the homepage you get to see some of the popular films playing today. And we can see they do have lots and lots of great content. Uh, let's say for example you want to watch one of these. So let's go for um, this one here. Let's click on watch now. And that starts playing pretty much straight away. And on this particular website, I didn't have to click on play like 10 times. So in terms of ease of use, this is probably the easiest out of the lot because as soon as you click on a film, it starts playing pretty much straight away. So you don't have to do multiple clicks, you know, bypass adverts or bypass pop-ups. On this particular website, as soon as you click on a movie or TV show, it does seem to start playing pretty much straight away. Let me forward that a bit. And let's just try something from the TV show section. Let's just try this one here. And that starts playing pretty much straight away, and that's a fantastic HD picture there, guys. Okay, let's back out of that. Right, if there's anybody still watching my video at this stage, I want you to leave the comment below. TDUK, we want a giveaway, and the first five people to do that, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So let's do that. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I always believe in options, so I think it's good that if you don't want to use Kodi and you don't want to be using APKs, we can now use these websites and access some great streaming content. So definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know which one worked for you. Let me know if there's any other websites that you know on how to access free streaming content. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks. That's it, guys. I hope you found that video useful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment below. Let me know if this worked for you. And please subscribe for more content. Thanks again for watching, guys. Oh, and if you're interested in a VPN, if you click on that link on the bottom left, you'll get a great 46% discount. If you are worried about your privacy and you want to stay safe online, I do recommend you check out a VPN. Thanks again guys, see you on the next one.